Do I have more tampons in here? Oh, I'm surprised they only have one tampon. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that I feel weird about filming but then I remember that I really like watching these and that's a what's in my bag video. So yeah I'm sure this doesn't interest a lot of you but if you're nosy like me then maybe it will. Okay so this is my current handbag. This is the first actual like nice handbag I've had. This is from All Saints. It's quite heavy at the moment but I think that's just because I'm not used to holding it like this. This isn't the way I usually carry my handbag. Um, yeah, I got this in Kildare Village in All Saints when there was a sale on, so it wasn't too expensive, but without that it would have been a thing. I haven't taken anything out of this, so I'm not actually sure what's in here. I just, if there was any bits that I knew should be in here, I just kind of threw them in. So the first thing I have in my bag is my keys. I have a ridiculous amount of key rings and about three keys on here. So I have a big pom-pom. This was from Penny's ages ago. A little pom-pom. This I got in Barcelona. Random loyalty cards. An Abbott key ring with a picture of all the interns from around Ireland this year on there. Bottle opener. This has come in handy more times than I thought it would. This was from Lanzarote from my granny. I also have, I hope you can see this, this really tiny little lipstick key ring that I got when I made a Melt Cosmetics order and it's so cute. And then lastly is a little Sharpie because when you are in a lab, you don't know when, well you are, it's not you don't know, you're guaranteed to need a permanent marker. Next up I have my diary. This is a Filofax. I wanna say it's a mini, I'm not sure. But, yep, this I live off. It comes in so handy, I put everything in here pretty much. So this is the size of each day, and as you can see each day is quite small, but I enjoy that because I tend to over-organise if I have the room to do so, and that just ends up with me not doing any of it because there's too much going on. This happens to be my birthday week, by the way. I've had this for around two years, I'm one got me for Christmas and love. Next up is my hideous purse. Okay, it's actually not that hideous, I just hate it. It's way too big and clunky. It's from River Island, but I love the, the carpet bag vibe. But there's, you see, there's like a gap there, so all my money falls out and it opens really easily and it just, it's a, it's a nightmare. I have very little money as well. But I have one million loyalty cards. Next up are my sunglasses. These are Key Australia. I got these in Topshop in New York. And the fact that the case is filthy has made me kind of glad that I use it because otherwise my sunglasses will be this dirty, I guess. I think these are called the My Girls. I don't know if you can find them online. You could definitely get the shape online still, but I'm not sure about the colors. But worth a look, I'll link the key website in the down bar. This is where everything gets a little bit messy. We've got the kind of stuff that gathers at the bottom of the bag. Okay, next up are these very, very prescription glasses. No, they're not, they're just plastic. I just, I bought these years ago. Remember when the whole nerd glasses trend was like a thing? I bought them then and I found them the other day and I put them on and I kind of liked them. So I wore them the other day. Is that really bad? I don't care. They actually make my eyesight much worse. Earphones. Prefer headphones. These fit in my bag nicely. An American apparel scrunchie that's covered in both hair and fluff. Nice. A pack of the tissues that looks like it's been in there for quite a while, but oh, no, the tissues inside seem okay. Kleenex, I do believe they are. Kleenex. Oh God, there's so much rubbish. A hair tie. This is one of those terrible ones without the metal bit. And one of the travel tangle teasers. I bought it for the little travel-y element. You know, the bit that comes, there's like a little bit that closes it. However, I lost that. So now I have this and it's full of dirt because I lost the plastic bit. <sighs> I have this mini Dove deodorant. You can get these anywhere. They come in so handy and it's so cute. Look at this little. Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm. I love this. These are so good. A very old faded tampon. My Naked Basics, just for the mirror. It's, can you tell I liked this one? I used to use this, um, that color for my eyebrows. So that's why it's like gone. But yeah, it's handy for the mirror because I was wearing a liquid lip the other day. And the liquid lip I was wearing 
is this. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in Exposed and I love these. These are so good. Let me know if you want like a review on them, but I don't think there's any point. There's so many on YouTube as it is. A chewing gum. Not <laughs> a packet of chewing gum, not a chewing gum. These are my favorite extra green flavor. A wrapper, an unidentifiable wrapper. A pen, keep this for my diary along with this. These two are my diary utensils. There's no point having a diary if you can't write in it, right? I brought this to bring back to Boots. This is the Nail Apothecary like magic base coat or something like that, but it keeps breaking. But then the woman in Boots fixed it for me, so. We'll see, we'll see how I get on. That's the second one now. This is the Soap and Glory Pillow Plump Plumping Lip Gloss, and I really like this, but it's always too windy. Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I also really like this. This is nice because it's pale, but it's not too pale. So if I have a bit of fake tan on and I have a spot like over here, I'm not putting my highlighting like under eye concealer there and having like a big white patch. MAC Ruby Woo, Ruby Blue Blue. MAC Ruby Woo Lip Liner. The Kat Von D Black Liquid Lipstick in Witches. This is my favorite liquid lipstick that I own. Another pen, the same pen as the other one. What's the point in having a diary if you don't have two pens? Okay, now we have some random change. What even is this? Oh, five cent. One American cent, two euro and 33 cent, and then a bit of plastic and loads of dirt that I'm gonna shake out my window after this. All right, now let's have a look in the pockets. You know how clumsy I am? I have Savlon in my bag. I have a new cut at the moment that needs constant attention. They're like babies, I swear. My cuts are so deep that I need to be so careful I don't get infected. Savlon. Another packet of chewing gum, both opened. That really irritates me. Does that irritate anyone else? I'm sorry if I've irritated you. I like to go through packets one at a time. And my Dublin house key, which I should really put on my keys but it's the same as my Sligo house key. Oh wait, no, it's not quite. Oh, whatever, I'm just too lazy, I think. Now we're going into the little insidey pocket where I have this little kind of pouch that my granny got me ages ago. The zip's gone on it, so it's not useful for much other than tablets. Probably the most exciting pocket, paracetamol, headaches, buy headaches, it's the cheapest. Basically I have a little pharmacy. Let me pop those in there and then Millions of plasters. I never do not have plasters in my handbag because I'm always getting blisters. <laughs> oh God, this is so broken. A Bewley's Cafe Biscuit. I keep these because they're delicious and I don't always want to eat them, but then they always get turned to dust in my bag. So what's the point? A third pen and a second tampon. <laughs> and then the last thing inside that little pocket is the All Saints kind of authenticity. Be careful with this material kind of card. Now this pocket is the most exciting. Oh, first up, another hair tie. These are my favourite. These are from Pennies. Oh, I just threw it on the ground. Another five cent. Loads of Eskimo mints. I used to have more, but I've kind of started working my way through them. I used to have about 15 and now I have four. Oh, I'm doing a good job. And last but not least, a nail file. I swear I break my nails on a daily basis if not like an hourly basis. So I always need to have a nail file on me because I don't like going around with a witch's claw, like jaggedy, no, just file it away, just file it away. Right, so my bag is now entirely empty, apart from numerous crumbs and other disgusting things that I should probably get rid of. But other than that, it is empty. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get rid of half of this stuff now, I'd say. I don't think there was anything missing from it. Sometimes there's a phone charger wire in there, sometimes there's a snack. If this wasn't terribly boring, then thank you for your patience because all of these things were boring. Apart from maybe this, because it's adorable. Look how small, look how small, look against my face. Thank you for watching. I'll try and do something more interesting next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.